Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, back with uh, the Paladins video. Hope you're doing well. We're playing some Nyx today with her massive improvements and buffs she's had in this update. Ones I've been wanting for ages. Pretty straightforward stuff, but really happy to see it. First off, the F now has a duration timer at the bottom. You can actually time it and a combat with subjugation, which is now much better because of that. Also, true freedom the way it was before, where you would continue the combo even if you missed a hit. has gone into a base kit, level 2, which is better than pretty much the way everyone was running it, and it now gives you a heal at the end of the combo if you land the last hit, which is arguably pretty good if you ran at level 5, but there isn't really space for it. On top of that, they also put devastating blows back to 5 from 4, which is 5 extra units at level 5, which I do actually have a few builds that run it at max. Then finally, they also put the new order up to 60 from 30, which is a card I've never really seen, but... Yeah, still don't really see myself running, so didn't really need much of an excuse to make another next video. She's one of my favorite characters. Might even be S tier at the moment after these changes because the F duration thing was my main gripe because it now makes subjugation way better, but yeah, we'll see. All right, so game one, Siege Fish Market. There are the teams, Koga, Maeve, Corvus, and Victor. Pretty standard stuff versus Khan, Amani, Dredge, King, and Betty. Subjugation, like I said, for the talent, and then just the standard F build, which I think I showed you the last time I went through. It's really, really strong. Technically a little bit weaker because you're going for the talent where you're trying to grab people with the F, but if you just pay attention to the duration at the bottom and you get the timing right towards the end, you're getting pretty much full value from it and also a nice route at the end, which is probably better than the other talent and also increases the range of it, which I always forget about, but 2.25 route is massive especially now that you can time it. Before it was kind of hard to recommend, but quite easily able to now. For the talents, Adrenaline Junkie, Rogue's Gambit, Burst Mode, Dark Gifts, Hurl, but Dark Gifts also got buffed, by the way, uh, Controlled Fury, which I haven't seen in Forever Life Exchange Swords, and Mana Rift in we go. Just going to go try and play the point, which is the spot we want to be at. What am I taking damage from? Um, I don't know what I just took that much from. I guess it was the Amani who was gliding around the top, but I didn't even see having the card where you can miss two built into the kit is absolutely kind of massive. I thought they were going to put it into the base kit one. I definitely didn't think they were going to do it two because it's significantly better than uh, the way I was running it before. I would have liked to have it higher level, but there wasn't really space for it. So now that you've got it built into the kit, though, it is kind of huge. I should have popped the F a little bit faster because we want to get the sort of value from it and then uh, pop the root right at the end of there, hold them down and right click. You've got so much CC as a Nyx. We could do with some healing here, but I'm just trying my best to not die because I feel like we're getting hit by a lot of stuff. Am I dead? Yep, she's going to have to pull into the middle a little bit. Uh, there's the F. Root before we die. There we go. Guarantee the kill. Team should have it. Mave is doing the best here by far. Actually, not going to get more crowns here. I'm going to get Arcane because we're taking a lot of ability damage from the Dredge and the Betty and also maybe the Amani. And then a bit more nimble. I think that makes more sense. Um, there's a right click. He should be dead here. Even if he's got his shield up, we should be able to go through him. There's a Q. Push forward a little bit. I could have used the Root there. Am I dead? No. Team kind of saved me Root there for the uh, being, which I somehow missed. I load the right click up through that there. I kind of want to go in for an ultimate, but I don't have my F up. That's an Amani ultimate. I don't really know what we can possibly do about that other than maybe try and clear it before it gets too close. I do have the F, which helps out a ton, so I guess we pop that and throw the Q down. There we go. That actually kind of worked. There's a root on the Khan. Right click. I do have my ult here. Yeah, that might be enough to save the play. I was hoping I could get a two man stun. A little bit too far in, I think. Definitely played that wrong, but I think we did nearly have it. It wasn't too far off. I can just see the spam on that side. That's an Amani who didn't see me, so I guess we're going to now push around. Did they see me? Well, he definitely did. So, uh, hello, Ying. Uh, do I pop the F here kind of early? Yeah, sure. I have the root, but I don't want to use it just yet. I want to, again, try and get a little bit of value from uh, the F. There we go. Wasn't actually able to clear her. She's going for the ultimate, but we're pushing the point, and then we're going to have to now come back. Can we dodge that? She's just going to direct at me. Uh, okay, there's a Q. There's an F. She's on, like, no health here. I don't know why I'm so stubborn on trying to get this point. There's a root. Again, don't think I played that right, but it nearly worked. We got a pretty decent push on the point, and the team is now sort of able to regroup and push back in. I think it was the right place so they didn't get too far forward and zone us, but I also don't know how the team got held off so much by, I think, just the Khan. Just going to run, try and get to the point. Is that going to be enough time? There's an F. Khan, grab me. That's actually going to be enough to stop. Okay, well, anyway. 1-1. Uh, there goes the Betty in the slow-mo. Should get a little bit of a root on the dredge. I really like being able to actually just use the talent. The timer on the bottom is such a nice quality of life. Just like I said in the intro, really good stuff that I'm happy to see with it. Completely opposite to what I said the other day with Maeve and uh, that's kind of why I wanted to sandwich it between two videos that I'm very positive about that uh, Nyx and the one right before it that was uh, dead. What I was trying to say before I got shot into oblivion is I'm really happy to see these next changes and that's why I wanted to put the Maeve video kind of between Tiberius and Nyx because they're two characters that have got really really cool buffs and uh, you know Maeve's is a little bit more weird. Don't know how Khan is such a big issue here. There's a route for the Amani that doesn't really do anything when she's in the fire thing. There's the Q pretty much shield from being out of combat. We're gonna try and push in. That's an Amani. That right click has been absolutely massive which is why I went for Arcane to try and deal with it. That Q was a little bit too far back. She is gone though just one on one to Amani and managed to actually live nearly gonna try and focus a little bit more on the damage and a little bit less on the tanky side of things because i feel like we should have this kind of in the bag if we can just clear them a little bit more because i think other than the mave everyone's playing kind of safe and not really outputting that much do feel like corvus heals here should be a little bit better but maybe it's because he's on dark gifts i'm not sure dark gift is definitely better than it was and massively uh, buffed but i feel like spending might have been the play because he has a solar healer and it's kind of tough for him it does help with us though uh, there's a route that worked managed to get that timing kind of perfect we'll throw that right click there i have the ultimate up but i think i'm dead because no heals don't know where the damage is on our side it's just a thing i'm feeling in most of these team fights i feel like people are free and super easily able to get hit without you taking too much damage back and people just 
aren't doing it. It could be just because I'm on Nyx, and I've said this before in other Nyx videos, she just feels so strong a lot of the time, you don't notice how annoying the enemy team is, because you can sort of just deal with it. That wasn't a money dragon, I managed to somehow run away, and I guess it went after the Koga. A bit weird, she probably should have used that to try and push up or something, but we've got one more chance, I think, to regroup here. Corvus is doing fine. Overall, the team is just doing fine, but I think it could be going significantly better here. We're going to get pulled in by the Khan and go for an ultimate, and maybe this will work. That's only on the dredge as an F for the route, just to make sure he's gone. And we push them off. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Team managed to come through there. Uh, Yang just there for free. It's just the Khan left. He's eventually gone. Finally, we made a team play that actually worked. There we go. 2-2. Two, two. I think we could definitely win it if we just play a little bit better and do a little bit more damage. Specifically, going after, I think, the Ying and the Khan and the Amani. The Betty and the Dredge really aren't that bad. Gone for Trigger Scent, which is kind of interesting. They have a ton of morale boost. Uh, Victor's gone for Trigger Scent as well, which is... Um, a little bit weird. I'm not really sure how else I can make this work other than specifically just trying to go after the people that are free, aside from uh, maybe avoiding Connor a little bit more so that doesn't happen. That happened last round too. When that happens, I can't do anything. I'm just out for like the first fight. And um, there's no real way for me to counterplay that. Betty is really low. Ying is there. She's out. They're both gone. Nice stretch. Oh, we can get out of that. That's fine. We'll root him as well. That missed. Don't know what I'm doing here. Just trying to hold this stretch off a little bit of damage. Only way we can finish him off. One more hit. Is that going to land? Oh my god, that missed. How did that miss? He's actually still up, but I need to deal with this Khan. Um, yeah, he should be dead here, right? That's an Amani Dragon. I think that's just GG. I'm going to try and do some in. We're going to throw the Q and maybe hold the point a little bit more. I do have the ultimate. I will absorb a ton of damage and then go for it. Sure. I guess we countered that a little bit. Uh, right click there, trying to stop the Khan getting rid of the Corvus for free, but I'm not really doing too good of a job. There's a Q. Also super nice to be able to see that the F is out, because I noticed in the last video there were times where I couldn't actually tell if I activated it or not. And now that you've got the little timer on the bottom, it's super easy to see that you've actually deployed it. I don't think there's any issues with it bugging or anything, but we've got the 3-2. Props to the team. We managed to somehow make that work. Yeah, my voice is just completely scuffed in this one. We're going to pop the F and try and push up a little bit. Khan ultimate. Sure. Again, I don't really know what I can do to stop that from happening. I don't have any movement. I don't have anything I can do to avoid that other than just hoping that he misses. I think I need more Chronos, more damage output than damage reduction. May have just went kind of huge. Are we pushing the point yet? So I couldn't actually tell where it was. I think it glitched a little bit, but looks like we might have the 4-2. May have just carried, I think, at the end of that one. She's going for the ultimate, but I don't think it's going to matter because I think, yeah, they just cleared them enough. I wasn't even in that fight. I just absorbed a Khan ultimate and distracted them for a bit. We take them for a bit of damage with the F and we got the win. I'm kind of surprised that that ended up as a 4-2 there because at the start that was really rough. Shouts out to the Corvus. He healed for a turn. The Mave was the star of the show for sure. Victor could a little bit better, but Hokoga also did fine. Surprising as a team, we made it work. I feel like I was out of half the team fights, but uh, yeah, what was I going to do? I think half my deaths nearly from the Khan ult. At least four of them, I think. For their side, Amai did work. So did the Ying, so did the Khan. I noticed those three a ton. The Betty and the Dredge, not so much, which is why I kind of tried to focus on a little bit of this, and I did at the start once I realized how the game was kind of going. I played the point, I did my job there on Nyx, and as you were hopefully able to see, she feels much, much better. The main thing is just the F-timer. Aside from that, the, you know, card being built in is also really nice. You have a bit of extra health instead. And yeah, that is where I'm going to leave it. I'd usually do a game too, but given my voice is kind of cooked and I actually managed to get my thoughts out during that first match, I'm perfectly happy to leave it here. I'd highly recommend Nyx, even more so than before. She's one of my all-time favorites. I don't really see how you could view them negatively, but... Yeah, maybe this will make you play Nyx and enjoy her because you can actually use a talent pretty effectively compared to the other options. It is different. Chef Force definitely still has a spot. I personally like both of them, but I could see why you'd like one over the other, especially after the changes though, because it's a bit newer and uh, more functional. Subjugation, I think, takes the spot for me. But thank you so much for watching. Yeah, I'll see you guys all really, really soon. I appreciate staying all the way to the end. And as always, stay frosty.